we're in the Chichester State Forest checking out Old Camp, which is the first one out of many free camps here. So we're going to go have a look. Barrington Tops is just around the corner, so we're really looking forward to showing this place to you. Come, let's go have a look. To get to the Old Camp campground along the Allen River, it's approximately three and a half hours from Sydney CBD, around about 250 kilometres. To get there, you go up Allen River Road. Now there is four water crossings to get to the campground at Old Camp. Dogs are allowed. There are drop toilets and bins. There is river water, but it's not drinkable. They do supply fire pits. It is free to stay. It's a state forest. There are four drive tracks around and hiking tracks. The river is suitable for swimming. Intermittent 3G phone reception at best. It's suitable for tents, RV, motorhomes, caravans, and camper trailers. Dirt road entry with those water crossings, four wheel drive is recommended. And make sure when you go across those water crossings that you check the river levels and the crossing levels because on heavy rain, you can get stuck and you won't be able to cross. So please, please make yourself aware of the water levels as they rise quickly. Looking at Old Camp, this place is a wonderful spot and as I said before, it is free. It's not too big in terms of camp spaces, but has certainly quite generous spots that you can set up. But you look, you're surrounded by trees. This is the old camp camp area. So many trees and amazing river, which we'll show you in a minute. So the walk into old camp is pretty straightforward. It is a loop. So you just drive all the way around and the campsites are right here. There are some at the front that are drive in like these ones that you'll see now. And I would say these are more overflow sites. You probably wouldn't pick these ones as your preferred site unless you had no other option. It is amongst the trees. It's flat, it's not grassy, but it's straightforward, easy entry, easy out. And you can set up just for a quick one nighter or if you wanted to stay a couple of days. Now there are the bins directly opposite. So they do come and pick up the bins quite frequently. And then right next to you is another, another site that's exactly the same layout, just flat. These sites here are, are quite reasonable in terms of size. They do come with a fire pit and they're separated by these concrete blocks. Now it's important to know also where are the closest towns to get petrol or just general supplies? So the closest towns, Dungog and Gresford. Hopefully I said them correctly. So that's where you want to go if you want to refuel or stock. And they're about an hour away, so keep that in mind as well when you want to refuel. Now, as you can see, we, we set up in one of these and then the next day we just moved right over because a few people left. But you are in amongst the trees and enjoying that wonderful surrounding of being in a state forest. So just to be clear, the only facilities here are the drop toilets and the bins. There is no power or running water other than what's in the river, which is non-drinkable. Now across from you are sites that are park in front and then carry your gear over. And there's plenty of car parking along the front here, but you will get people coming for day trips to walk down and see the river. But these sites are all park and carry your gear. So this area here is closest to the river and the pathway down to the river. But they are grassy, a bit patchy, but you're in amongst the trees, really enjoying your surroundings and that greenery. There is a walkway to the river which is concreted off so you will get people walking past you but this is quite an open space that you can really set up quite comfortably uh, it's a it's a lovely spot certainly a great area if you've got a large group of people and you don't mind carrying your gear over not too far to carry your gear over mind you and you are further away from the drop toilets but that's okay you compensate for the having access to the river So on the other side of the walk path is another walk-in site. This is nestled into this lovely little area where you probably 
feel the most private and probably is the most private out of all of them. It has a fire pit and it's on level ground, just like the rest of them. The great thing about this campground is most of the sites, if not all of them, are on level ground. And this particular one has its own little walkway, as well as a shared one, which is just a bit further up to get to that river. You can kind of see the river in the background there amongst the trees. And I'm sure here's the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to walk down this pathway to get to the river to see what it looks like. And I promise you, you won't be disappointed with how nice this river really is. And the pathway down is a narrow one, so make sure you're careful walking down. And please walk down, because it can be slippery. So take your time, walk there. I know we're eager to see what this river looks like. So once you get down to the bottom, you are greeted and presented with this wonderful, wonderful, beautiful river and waterfall. This is why we go camping to see things like this. How stunning and gorgeous is this with that waterfall? Look at that water. Imagine hanging out here all day, just enjoying this. Now don't be fooled, this middle section is very deep it's almost basically a plunge pool you can jump down in it but always check the water levels first before you do something like that this is a great spot just to hang out all day and enjoy all right let's go back up this path and check out the other campgrounds So this next area, which is right next to where we were at the beginning, but if you notice that the ground is actually dirt, not, not gravel or you know, harder ground. This is dirt, not really that grassy, but you've, you're, you are in amongst the trees and there's lots of room to, to set up. And you are directly opposite the path to the river. Now moving right along, quite a few bins if you've noticed which is great. This area is always quite clean. This is another shared spot. You are going to be next to people or, or close to two people, but it is an open area that you can set up and anywhere you like, preferably near a fire pit. But the ground is level and yet you are within the forest. Easy drive in and out. Not difficult at all to get to a perfect spot and maneuver around. Now just at the back there, that is the drop toilets. So you, it's quite a bit away, but it's not that far that it's gonna be painful to walk. I just love how green this place is. Yeah, it's well manicured and just that evening sun coming through those trees, peering through those trees, just really does set a relaxing scene for anybody who wants to camp here. Bit further on, another wide space and area for you to set up. If you've got big groups, this is great. Or if you just want to be on your own, you can tuck yourself in this little area, this little corner. 
but it's free for you to set up wherever you like along here. So this is a bit more sheltered. You're protected from the, the road around you. Whereas further down, you're exposed on both sides. And in this part of the campground, it's a little bit more open. So you want to bring your shade, even though you're in a forest. But there are openings in, in the fence that you can walk straight to the drop toilets. As well as fire pits and bins close by. But if you set yourself up in those little nooks, like in the back there, you know, you'll get a bit more privacy and shade. So let's go and complete the loop and head to the drop toilets. But before we check out the toilets, there is a skip or a bin, large bin. Don't worry, they do empty that out frequently. And there are two drop toilets. As clean as it can be, they actually wash them out. So they do maintain them quite well. So we've just shown you the old camp campground here in the Chichester State Forest on the Allen River. Some people will call this place a destination, others will call it just a one-nighter because it is a free camp. We'll leave that up to you to decide. Now, come and check this place out. Remember, camp by me and you'll be a happy camper. And please remember to check out our social media and our YouTube channel and subscribe. It is free and don't forget to visit our website. It's cold. You me over there. Oh, it's cold. Actually, it's not that cold. Actually, it's not cold. Go on the river. Go camping, they say. You love the rivers and the waterfalls, they say. Actually, I do like it. <laughs> old, oh, what is it? Old, old camp. Old camp in Allen River. River in the Chichester. Chichester State Forest. Chichester, right. To Chester. Okay. Can I, oh, this is the Allen River, though, right? Yes. Alan! 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 Steve! Steve! Steve!